Hi, this is Terry Couty with Deep Sea Foundation, and I'm visiting San Antonio this week. Um, some of the doctors told me they had some extra time in between surgeries, so that's why I have on the surgical scrubs today. Um, I grabbed some time from them. I am with Dr. Ramon Garza from PRMA in San Antonio. We are at the hospital, so just to let you know, we may get some residual noise, some announcements, but Dr. Garza is going to speak to us today um, about some of the new lymphedema uh, uh, treatments that they're doing at PRMA. So Dr. Garza, thanks for joining us. Oh, thank you. Thank yeah. you for coming to visit us at the hospital. Absolutely. I'll so, let you take it away. Um, some of the procedures that we're offering, I know Dr. C had mentioned or, or spoke on these things, um, but one of the things that's exciting that we're um, really excited to talk about are the uh, lymphovenous bypass or lymphovenous anastomoses. Uh, LVAs is what their kind of their abbreviation in medicine, we love abbreviations. So that's the right. abbreviation that's that's typically used that you may uh, hear about. Uh, but it's one of the treatments we're offering for uh, patients who have lymphedema. Um, when patients are initially diagnosed with lymphedema, um, either by their general surgeon, their oncologist, uh, or even the plastic surgeon, sometimes we will uh, evaluate the patient and. Um, Know, let, get them set up with a lymphedema therapist. The lymphedema therapists are so uh, integral in the treatment of, of the, the lymphedema patient. So we want to make sure they're, they're seen by a certified lymphedema therapist. Um, and then when they come back to us after their initial evaluation, once they've been optimized from a non-surgical standpoint, uh, one of the things that we will do in our practice is evaluate them for surgery. Oh, okay. And, and what that entails is the ICG study. Uh, that's something that we do in the office. We inject a dye in the hand. Mm -hmm. It's usually in the uh, second and fourth web space on the back side of the hand and on the wrist side. On both sides of the wrist we will inject uh, this dye and we follow the dye, we follow this study and see how the lymphatic channels are functioning. Mm -hmm. And uh, if someone who has lymphedema, if they have a lymphatic channel uh, that's has a blockage or is not functioning properly, they may be a candidate for this surgery, the lymphovenous bypass or lymphovenous anastomosis. Are the patients awake then during the procedure? For the uh, study in the office, they are awake. Uh, we mm -hmm. put some numbing medicine in their hand to help mm -hmm. with it, but it does feel like a little bee sting. Um, it, uh, but it, it allows us fantastic images of what's going on, uh, real time, uh, what's going on with the, the lymphatic system. So you see the actual flow. Absolutely. Yes, we, we follow it. Um, you can see it. And what we do, I've actually done this with one of the lymphedema therapists that we work with. Uh, I've injected the dye, and she's done some man manual lymphatic drainage. Uh, oh, wow. And we can follow the dye as it as she's doing the, the therapy and doing the, uh, the uh, lymphatic drainage and see how it is progressing up the arm. So it's just it's just fascinating to, to see this and, um, and and the patients I think have a better understanding of what's going on once they kind of see these these images. Do they like to watch it? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, they, <laughs> yeah, I would if it was me. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. You kind of yeah. see what's going on and you get an understanding of how things are affected. Very good. Well, thank you so much. That was very interesting. Oh, great. Thanks. Okay. All right.